everyone. Welcome to day five of the holiday card series for 2013. For today's card, I'm going to do a bunch of stamping and inking, and I'm starting out with some distress inks. I'm starting with tumbled glass, and I'm sponging that on to the very top of this cardstock here. This is some Nina Solar White cardstock, and it is cut to three inches tall by nine let's see, nine inches wide. Yeah, I had to think about that for a minute. Nine inches wide. And I'm just trying to get a nice fade coming in from that edge of the cardstock. And then I brought in peacock feathers, also with a sponge, uh, with a blending tool. And I took that from the other end. I wanted it to sort of fade from a lighter aqua color up to a more intense teal color. So it's going to be a pretty um, smooth gradient kind of fading in from those two colors. And after I had the peacock feathers coming in from that other end and it was fading into the tumble glass really well, I brought in just a tiny bit of black soot. Black soot is a really intense black, so you want to be really careful as you add it to your projects because it can overtake the other colors pretty quickly. So I used a really small amount of black soot and just brought in that color and it really intensified that teal color. And then I took the stamp set from Lawn Fawn. This is the Winter in the Park stamp set. And it has these really fun images like a park bench and some lamp posts and ribbons and things like that. The first image I stamped is this park bench and I put it over on the far right of the cardstock. I just stamped this in some VersaFine uh, black ink. I think it's black onyx ink and also the lamp posts. And as I was stamping all of them, I wanted to make sure that they were perfectly spaced and with this kind of red ribbon stamp in between. So first I stamped the lamp post and then I put the ribbon uh, stamp down and then I stamped another lamp post and I did that all the way until I got to the very, very end. And I'm using some Red Royal uh, shadow ink from Hero Arts, by the way, that's the red ink that I'm using. I added the bows in. And then the stamp set has two different little tails for all of your bows. So I alternated the different types of tails on each one of those lamp posts. There was one lamp post that didn't stamp all the way. So I went in with my Copic multi-liner and just cleaned up that image so that it, it looked flawless and it didn't look like anything was missing at all. And that worked out really, really well. I stamped the greeting season's greetings in the same black ink right above the park bench. And then I went in and added some snowflakes. Now all of these snowflakes are from the same stamp set. I'm using just one stamp set for this entire card and I can create an entire scene. So if you're looking for a really versatile stamp set that's gonna give you lots of options and you're gonna be able to use every single image in the stamp set, this Winter in the Park stamp set from Lawn Fawn is amazing. So then I decided to add a snow bank kind of along the bottom of the card. So I took some masking paper and cut out a little kind of slopey mask. And I masked off the kind of mi middle top portion of the card so that I could take my Unicorn Memories ink and just squash that down onto the cardstock and add a bunch of white ink to the very bottom of the scene I'm creating here. And it's going to give a, a kind of a translucent snow bank here. You're going to see a little bit of the black stamping through that, but I still think it looks really cool. So after I had the the ink pad kind of smush on there. I peeled up the mask and I realized that there was one area right under the park bench that I still wanted more snow. So I applied that mask down there one more time onto the cardstock and then squashed my ink pad over top again. And that's just going to um, add a little more to that section so that it, it reads a little bit better. I just didn't like how the, the leg of the park bench didn't have any snow underneath it. So I just added that on there. And then I decided to create the card base. And I'm using some marshmallow uh, cardstock from Basil. And the whole card base is actually the finished size. It's three and a half tall by nine inches long. So it's a really, really long card, but it's still gonna fit inside a standard envelope, just a business envelope. I believe it's a number 10 envelope. So I adhered that down with some foam squares. And then I'm rounding the bottom corners of the card. And that finishes the card for today. Uh, super easy. I think you could actually duplicate this rather quickly just with some ink and stamps, things like that. It's a really economical card because there isn't a whole lot of extra supplies involved. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. I 
have three more videos for you guys to check out. And just like the previous videos in this year's holiday card series, these three videos, the very end of today's video, are from the last three years of the holiday card series. So that first video on the left is day five from 2012. The one in the center is day five from 2011. And the very last video on the right is day five from 2010. So I hope you guys will check that out if you need some more holiday inspiration. If you want to see more card videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the top corner. You can visit my blog at kwarnerdesign.com. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on Monday for day six.